So let's get down, let's get down to business. <laughs> Let's get down, let's get down. What is going on, everybody? We are back. The Sportsport, episode 7, powered by Downtime. I'm your host, PJ, along with Tam, JPL, the usual guys, and our JP. super, super producer, Mike Theophil. You know, what up, You can boys? only hear his voice today, but he is still here. Hey and we guys. are still providing all the updates in sports. To start things off, the World Series. Yeah. We got a pretty good one on our hands. I mean, that Game 4 ending was... Sick. Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, uh, definitely something I've never seen before. Yeah, um, me neither. I haven't even seen it. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just say, let's just say, Why are you here? there was a there was an abundance of errors that led to the Rays' victory and evening the series. We saw last night though, Clayton Kershaw got the win for the Dodgers. They are now leading three two heading into tonight, which is their rest day. Yeah, Game Six is tomorrow. Mm-hmm. What are we thinking? You know, with what we've seen so far. <laughs> God, oh, crazy! This is kind of what we thought too in the beginning when we when the, before the series. They're exactly started, who we, we thought they were. Exactly, we got to get a, uh, the clip of that up for sure. Exactly uh, who we thought we were. But no, no, it's <laughs> it's it's a hell of a series, obviously. But uh, I hope LA pulls through, man. I think they're gonna. I think God. they're gonna do it. I think they. I hope so too, because I wouldn't be able to sleep at night if they didn't. That's tough. That'd be be really, honest, really, I feel it so has bad that much of an impact. Oh my God, you have no idea. You have no idea. Yeah, so. it's it's been a it's been a neck and neck series. Both teams are really um, fighting and showing that they should be there. Um, I think personally, I think the Rays even it up tomorrow night, and I think we will see a game I'm seven, sorry. which I think everybody kind of wants to see, uh, just to see who is really the better team. I mean, the Rays kind of got lucky yeah. in game four, which mm-hmm. a lot of people have been saying, but they were in that position to yeah. you know when those errors were made, they did win the game. So it's like. Mm-hmm. The bookies you know, wanted to go to Game Seven too. Oh, for sure. You know, I mean, what you, and what we were talking about uh, before 100%. the show too. Um, Hundred and ten with last night, everybody Maybe was kind of the Dodger fans were a little <laughs> aggravated that uh, Dave Roberts pulled Kershaw in the six because he was dealing, he was rolling. Yeah, I mean, did you in think, that did you in think that sense, time? in that sense, you don't want to you don't want to stretch him too far, and then maybe put him out there for an inning too long. Um, yeah, in that in that collapse. scenario, and then have a complete collapse, and then have to so go to your bullpen. Before. Have to go to your bullpen right away when their yeah. guys aren't ready, you know. And then on the race side of things, you said what we were saying that the the pitching they left in Glasnow. Yeah, so I know JPO didn't like that decision. Yeah, you weren't, you weren't about it. And no, that's about that move. That's one comment I could say about the game. I, I watched probably about the first five innings last night, and that's uh, actually really impressive for you. So I know. Good job, because you know, anyway, know. you're improving. Base, baseball on TV is pretty boring to me, but um, anyway. The first two innings, I mean, I think halfway through the second inning, they should have took him, taken him out. I mean, he was throwing fire, and, and I know he's a great pitcher and all that, but if somebody's having an off day and people are hitting him, you got to take him out. I think that was a bad coaching move. Yeah, I could see that. I mean, he definitely got hit early. They, they were, they they were, were on the game in the second inning. Yeah, right. we, could, we know why they did it, though. Obviously, like we, we Yeah, I mean, the reason the reasoning why they did that was because they have their match upset for. Yeah, they're essentially lined seven. up to have two of their better starters in Blake Snell and Charlie Morton set to start game six and seven, whereas, you know, the Dodgers kind of don't really have that luxury since Kershaw pitched last night. And now that they have potentially a game seven, Bueller can come back. Yeah. But the whole thing with the Rays was that Glass now needs to get us through at least five. We'll keep our bullpen somewhat healthy with the day off tonight, yeah. you yeah. know, come back tomorrow with two Makes starters, sense. one being Blake Snell, who had yep. a, who had the win in game two. Um, and have that fresh bullpen. So yeah. it's like, I do understand, JPO, what you were saying in the sense of he was getting hit very early. You um, got three games left in, in the whole in the whole season. season. Yeah. Three games. Use up your bullpen and, and you know, and, and get that win. You got it. Every single one of these wins counts. So that's that's very true. I mean, there there definitely could have been other ways they could have approached that where I know it's a cliche statement, but no, I, but it makes sense. Counts, it makes I mean, sense. Really, you I got mean, three games left. It's no, the World I mean, Series. Yeah, you have to do. We have to pull. Do whatever's necessary. Is what is I mean. What come you're on, saying, guys. Yeah. Get it together. Take it's, the kid out. It's the World Series. I mean, shit. this it's yeah. all or nothing now. Yep. It's like if you don't if you don't win these well, games, we'll if you don't win game tomorrow, seven would be crazy. Game seven would be sweet. Yeah, absolutely not. And I think that's what realistically everybody kind of wants that's to see. That was um, you want me to play this for the boys? Yeah, let's play that. Play it for the boys. This is the end this, the this game, is the game uh, four ending, which yeah. was absolutely ridiculous. And what a difference, too, bro. Now you know, in that in that moment. Oh my god, an ad. It went down three one. Tied up two two and well that that that's another thing, fashion. which also affects 
the whole thing from last night with the pitching. It's like if they go down 3-1, they probably pull Glass now probably in the first oh, inning yeah, well, when he yeah, gave up yeah, when yeah, he gave yeah, up those yeah. runs. He probably gets pulled there. Here we go. This, bro. In the sense of Jansen you know, too, bro. He's he's uh, had his fair share of blown not that, but it, well, like the, not that this was necessarily the thing his. is the thing is is it wasn't really his fault. Right, right, right. Yes, yes, he that. blew the save because he but gave he just up the happened run. To be pitching. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it was it was just a crazy ending. This and guy, was, you know, a one-two count. This guy, this guy's batting average was like two something too. It wasn't really anything crazy. crazy. Like, Unbelievable. Fudge. And this it segment was brought to you it. by we've Essential Oils. Yeah, no, we've seen it. We're good. We know what happened, Mike. We know what happened. It was a crazy ending. It's not all didn't see it or anything. Yeah, he just has to, you know. We'll watch it later. Watch, right, watch yeah, more continue. of the games. Catch the highlights later. But with that being said, I'm hoping it goes game seven. And with that being said, we're hoping that the Dodgers win. It's coming up. Yeah, right now. pretty much. I'm not gonna I mean, this we're is, not going to play JPO. We're not going to really. I'm sorry. Sugarcoat. We, this. I, we're going to go with the Dodgers. Well, yeah, obviously. This is a Liberty Mutual commercial. No, no this go. is it right here. No, I know. Base not. Watch this. Solid base. Mookie. Whoops. He picked his head up before. Before the ball was in his glove. And like then, a, Rosa, a Rosarina trip. Whoops. Or no, he didn't trip. He, he, was he tripped, dribble, got he back did. up. Yeah, then he was going to try and go back to third. That's what I'm. That's exactly Crazy. what I mean. Craziness. Yeah. Craziness. That was literally the I've most absurd anything. ending I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. Nuts, bro. It's crazy. That's not very professional. <laughs> <laughs> no. On that note. Uh, uh, <laughs> bow, bow, bow. Moving hey, we on. Said, we said way. we were going to stay know, away I from that noise today. I just wanted to do it. Stop it. Get some help. Okay. I like that one. That was a good little addition there. Thank Not you. bad, Mike. Thank we're going we're gonna to keep Thank things you. rolling. I think we said what we had to say about the World Series. We I saw that so. abysmal yeah, play to end game four. It. Let's shift it to the NFL. We yep. had a lot of storylines heading into this week, including the ones that we kind of talked about on Friday, that yep. being the Titans and the Steelers, yeah. the battle of the Oof. undefeated. Yeah. And let me tell you, that game did not disappoint. What are your, kinda, what are your thought process You know, following I, that? I mean, Tennessee, Tennessee is legit. That's uh, you know it was came down to the the very end, and just missed a uh, missed a field goal to tie it up. Yeah, it's a field goal to tie it up. But I knew I said I picked Pittsburgh. So you Tam, did. Pick, you did. Right. You did pick Pittsburgh. Golf we'll clap. give you. We'll give you that golf Thank clap. You. We'll yeah. give you the golf clap. Thank you, Tam. Who now and me and me and JPO picked Tennessee, but let me tell you something. Tennessee should have hundred percent won that. Yes, game. Yes, they should. They should have won that game. I think if they did go to they an did. overtime, they would have probably pulled it out just because they had the momentum at the time. They were down big early yeah. and kind of fought back into that game to get to that point. Yeah. Now I I must game. confess I didn't watch much of the beginning of the game because I was running around doing stuff. But um, did they run the ball a lot in the first half? Derrick Henry got shut down in the first half. That's what I... He I, got shut down. If I, I figured that was... Because yes. he only had like 44 yards he first had, half or something he, like that. He had like... Something around yeah, there. Yeah, something around there. Yeah. And finished with only like 75 yards and a touchdown. Yeah. Right. But the second half, I saw that they were running a... You know... They gave him more touches. Because in, right. in the sense of... That defense wasn't going to be able to stay... Right. They like need to wear him down. 100% energy and be able to oh, tackle yeah, that no. big dude. Like, come on now. Yeah. That's what and that's what Vrabel said before the game. He was like, "Listen, I'm going to give him 25 carries a game, and we'll see if that defense can stick with him for those 25 carries." Why don't teams do that? I mean, I know that they would be uh, maybe the the opposing team would score more in the first half if they just ran the ball a lot more. Mm. But you you really wear down a defense doing that. I feel. And yeah, I guess you, you wear down a defense, but you also wear down yours too. Because if they're stopping you, yeah, then right. your defense is constantly taking the field, yeah, and they're, they're going to just keep putting points up. Game and that's why I'm not an NFL coach. So, um, <laughs> but I mean, that's a great reason. game. That is probably the only reason. I mean, Absolutely. there are definitely some teams who can use a new agree. coach. <laughs> I don't know any. I, I wish you were the coach of the Jets. Let's not even go there. <laughs> That's for another yeah, show well, altogether. That, that, I, I could yeah. talk for hours we about could, the we Jets. We could be here for hours <laughs> doing that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it was a great game. It was. I think, I think the Titans are game. still going to, you know. That's the way NFL football their should way. be, man. Close game, two, three two points. A, that's that's an AFC uh, battle right Did there, you see Big sure. Ben's AFC face? Battle. Yeah, he, he was like, kick? he missed it? Yeah. He was like, oh, we won. that dude now is now, I think, like one for four within the 40-yard range, but like. Three for three from the fifty yard range, or something like that. Gaskowski, yeah. He's well, he was, he was. Yeah. He had a good career with the Pats back in the day. You know, I don't. I don't really know what's going on with him. He's old. That, he yeah. should. I mean, can't see. Sometimes he's still, league, though, still though. You gotta. You gotta make that kick in that are you moment. There? Um, but I don't think Matthew Gostowski, Are you there? Sometimes Is you gotta retire. Working? You know. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, that that game was pretty wild. I think yeah. the Titans are going to still remain one of the top teams in the AFC, yeah, as sure, well as the sure. Steelers. It was, it was a heavyweight AFC matchup, yep. and uh, it's something we could see in the playoffs maybe again. And then and then you also have the other big uh, 1 o'clock game that was Try happening at the same up time. Down. Mayfield versus Burrow? Shout out, AJ. Are, are, we, young guns. are we talking about Mayfield the young guns? Burrow. Are you Damn, in the pocket Burrow. like Burl? Huh? Are you in the pocket like Burl? <laughs> you need to stop using that line. When you I've go home, do they treat times. you like Robert De Niro? Yeah, that's enough. Yeah, we need, I think we need to get Tam home so he could do his homework. Oh, um, my gosh. Mayfield versus Burrow, though. a lot of homework. Too. Burrow threw for Fantastic. 400 yards. Baker had five, five touchdowns, touchdowns yeah. including a game winner at the end, which was an absolute bomb. Dime. Yeah. Yo, um, Baker showed up, dude. He, no, the, he, I mean, the Browns are legit. The Browns are legit. They are. They're five and two. I mean, they they probably receive more criticism than any team. Yeah. I mean, just because of Baker alone, just because yeah. of the way he kind of holds himself, which I understand. Yeah, he's just a hater. But like, it goes back to yeah. what they were, what he said in his press conference. He's like, f- four and two sounds a lot like zero oh and four right now. And then now they're five and two. They go out and they beat the Bengals. Joe Burrow had a game and a half. You know, again, dude. They, he looked great dude, for a rookie quarterback. That's what I'm oh saying. Like, God, you know, he's comfortable dude. under I think, pressure. Dude, I think the Bengals are going to be. A team to watch out for the in the future. Of, dude, his, the, the passing yards are ridiculous. It's yeah. insane. Every fucking week. Insane. They need, they need some missing pieces filled. but uh, Of course. Yeah. I mean, but they're, that's, they're on the way, that, though, that comes with it's, spending your draft picks on a, yeah. on a rookie quarterback. They don't have Marvin Lewis there anymore, so maybe they'll, uh, if they make the yeah, pass, I mean, maybe they'll <laughs> win a game. Exactly. Because yeah, he, he couldn't do it. But exactly. back, back, to the whole, back to the whole Literally. Brown situation. We got a guy like Baker who's throwing to Donovan Peoples-Jones, a rookie. I didn't. David Njoku, and then a bunch of tight ends and receivers who really haven't Robert really Landry can throw it too. A little no, bit. no, no. But and in the sense of the guys he's throwing it to this past week, I didn't really understand. I didn't know any of the names that he was throwing it to, especially that one tight end who had two touchdowns. And that comes to my next point mm. because the star OBJ Goes uh, just came in today that he has officially torn his ACL and is going to be out for the remainder of the season. What are we thinking about that in the sense of what is that going to do for OBJ moving forward? And what is that going to do for the Browns as they finish mm. the season being, you know, a contending team at the moment? How many years has he been in the league? Seven years? Six years? Around, yeah, I think some, this is his sixth year. Yeah, six something like that. Year. I think he came in in 2014. Yeah. I mean, I'm mistaken. Um, dude, I mean, that's a big loss for them because they're a solid team. Well, it's a huge loss and for the Br- for, for the for, Browns. For the Browns. But we're talking Ed Baker. Like, but, but well, I, I want to know. know about I want to know. Career. Yeah, I want to uh, know on like a yesterday. serious note, like well, that, OBJ, that a, like his career moving forward. Like, what I, is this torn ACL going to do for him? I, I think, I think he'll be able to bounce back. I think, I think this he's, is six years. Six years, twenty-seven years old. I think, I think he'll be able to bounce back. Maybe he might lose a little bit of a step, but. I still think he's gonna his uh, it, receiving skills are gonna be. I think it depends on how much notch, how much want and drive he he has to stay in the league. To be honest, with I you. I, think, I could see it go either way. I think he's gonna be motivated um, to come mm-hmm. back from this. Of course, like Tam just said, they're they're a contending team right now. They're yeah. five and two. Like they're yeah. in the they're in the talks for a playoff push. You know, not having the OBJ. Well, he's team, not gonna be yeah. back this. No, year. no, no, no way. But no, I'm saying not, not having OBJ year. and making that run. And right. then him having to watch them try to make that run Dude, with him on the sidelines. This is what the Browns. Exactly. This is what the Browns were hoping that this was gonna. This is what uh, what we're seeing would would be. Yeah, Odell, I mean Landry turn around the team, the Baker. make them yeah. a winning organization again. Yeah. I mean, yep. yeah. they're they're taking the steps in the right direction. Obviously, so this, this OBJ loss, injury obviously. is a little bit of a setback. When but have they been a winning uh, organization? Never, but. never. But you know, like, <laughs> well, Bill Belichick was. I think was the one guy who had like a 500 or winning record with the of Browns course. or something like that. Um, but what else is new? Yeah. Of course. Um, but yeah, no, this is definitely a minor setback for the Browns moving forward, but yep. we'll yeah. see. But they showed up yesterday. Without no, no, they, I mean, they played so well. well. They see. finished the game. Uh, Baker was we'll see what phenomenal happens. and it was, it was fun to watch, honestly. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to, we're going to shift gears. Sunday night game was another fantastic game. Yeah. Seahawks, Seahawks Cardinals, you know, Seahawks went up early. Mm-hmm. It was like 27-17, I believe, like with a couple minutes left in the third, still a whole fourth quarter. And then Wilson just lost control. Wilson lost control. They got to Cardinals, Cardinals climbed back, and they ended up winning in overtime, 37-34. Yeah. It was unbelievable. Cardinals got yeah. a solid team, man. They're a good young team. No, the team. Cardinals yeah. are yeah. legit. Well coached. Yep. Kyler Murray, DeAndre Hopkins. Cliff Kingsbury is a Cliff savage. King. Oh, my God. He's a savage. Yeah. 
they might wind themselves up in the Super Patrick Bowl. Patrick Peterson still you have it or could an be, NFC championship. It could be a possibility. I mean that, that div- they got? well that okay. division alone you know, is is tough in the sense yeah. of you got maybe the maybe the 49ers, right? Uh, we're talking potentially N- we're, we're talking NFC championship game. Potentially. Well, who do you, who do you have to- top three would, teams in the NFC at the end of the season? I top would top say three? if we're going to be honest, three. probably Seahawks, Packers, Bucks. Wow. In really? the NFC. The only one that, the fourth, I, that I would maybe switch in uh, would be the Saints. Get the fuck no, out of here. No, no. They're done, dude. No. I don't Dang, know if Bruno is going to make it the whole season. Dude, I'm telling you right now, I don't think that – I don't think Drew Brees is – You think it's over? I, I think it's over for them. I, I don't think they're going to continue to – they haven't we'll They see. haven't really proven it. They, I, I, get, they I, get, snuck, I get where you They from. snuck by – the Carolina Panthers yesterday. Yeah, by three I didn't points. watch the game. They it's been, it's been a little bit of a rough go for them too. And like Drew Brees no, is throwing Thomas. picks now. Yeah, you know, he like he, he ne- that's yeah, that's, not that's not something him. we see from him. Um, I would say probably another team. I don't even really. I mean, the Cardinals no, I mean, are. Good, I would say the Cardinals are, are probably four. Yeah, Cardinals maybe okay. if they can still play like this. If they can continue playing like this, I think they but are the going Rams. to be up there. Top five. Top five, top six. I mean that whole that whole division realistically they team. they play they play against each other and what we've I seen know, is that teams so are beating each other. Gonna, so it's like yeah. the Cardinals beat us in the Seahawks. Yep. The 49ers beat the Rams, you know, it's like they're all beating Kyle each other. Murray is, let, let, is really let me ask you something because sick. you because you threw the Bucks in the top three. How do you feel two questions. How do you feel do you feel that um, Tom Brady has gotten control of that team. I think so. Okay. Dude, Second and also, part, let's not, uh, Antonio Brown now, they're going to have. Oh. <laughs> sorry. You just, you ru- you're you ruining everything today. <laughs> he has to get out of here, go do homework. He, he's ruining JPO's question. Coach JPO. Anyway. <laughs> coach JPO, exactly. That's right. Yeah, yeah. don't forget. Don't forget don't that. Yeah. The coach. So Tom Brady, does he have, con- now, now does he have control of the team? And I, I think he does because you can tell on the sidelines and all that. And then also, how is Antonio Brown coming in on to the team going to affect the dynamic of the team? So I going personally, forward? a lot of people are probably thinking that he's going to, you know, do this whole thing again where he just freaks out and like gets thrown off the team again, whatever. Mm-hmm. I think it's going to be different with Brady because Brady's me not going to tolerate that shit. Yep, he's going to be like, listen, dude, we brought you in here to help us win. Like if you're not here to do that, Get the hell off my team, GM Brady. Especially in the sense that they have they receivers. Tried. They, they tried have it. receivers. Yeah, like yeah. they don't need no. Any they more don't receivers. need Antonio Brown. Like no. he's just a he's just an extra guy to free up Mike Evans, Chris Dude, Godwin, all these other. I heard they took him out. away from Seattle. That's why they did it. Oh, Probably. Really? He was no. He, no. No. Really no. Did. He was sent, Seattle. He was like looked at him, and he Russell was like, Wilson was throwing to him all summer. He was on the verge of signing with the Seahawks, and then took a trip to Tampa, and as soon as he got there. It was over. It was over. He signed said, right there. Come to Papa. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. They tried it in New England once, and then Tom Brady's going to be a great GM. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, for, for sure. For sure. Great GM. He's just a great football mind. Yeah. I mean, and that's yeah. where I think they are a top three team. They're clicking on all cylinders. They're playing complete games. If they stay healthy, I I, yes. I agree with you. That's a that's another thing, and yeah. that's that's for all these teams. I mean, if they stay healthy, well, right, and they they play the the type of game that they are known for playing. Mm-hmm. I yes. think those top three teams are going to be in the end, yep. like at the end, you know? Um, Makes sense. Mike. Yes, sir. I heard we're um, implementing some some new segments today in the sense of we are going to have some callers calling in. We are, yeah. I mean, I'm down to open it up to callers. If you guys are willing to talk to some callers, are you guys in an okay mood, Tim? I think I'm, I think I'm okay. I think Tam is, the, Tam is the one who might be on a little bit of a touchy subject talking to callers today. Yeah, Tim, mm. are you okay? He hasn't had his coffee yet. I did have one cup. Oh, I you did, did have one cup. You had one cup. How, <laughs> what's, right, your, well, what's your total coffee count on the day? Yeah, Hold really on a sec, guys. Really we got the caller in right now. Hello, you're on the uh, sports port. What's going on, buddy? Hold on a sec. Oh, there we go. Connectivity issues. There we go. There he is. Hey, guys. How you doing? What's hey, going on? Who is this? Who are you speaking with? Uh, this is uh, Brian. I'm calling from the car. <laughs> oh, okay. AKA Brian Barnaby, AKA Barnes. What's um, up, dude? Yeah, you know, I, I was just calling another uh, interesting uh, day in the NFL yesterday. And, uh, you know, despite the fact that, uh, you know, I've given up for years now, it, it's hard to not completely give up. 
on uh, you know being a Jets fan and you know wanting the best <laughs> for them going forward. And Barnes, you know, I you. think and I think you know that they're doing the right thing in terms of you know trying to lose every single game uh, to yeah. make sure that they yep. get Trevor Lawrence. Yeah. But unfortunately, I think that they are messing up even that just from the standpoint of Darnold game by game, his value gets worse and worse. I mean, we traded up these picks to get him, and I'm, I'm afraid at the end of the year we're going to be getting a six-rounder from the Saints, and he's going to end up being a pro bowler. And I understand at the end of the day, you know, the players play the game, uh, but really to me this just feels like it's oh, an organizational uh, issue as well as, you know, Adam Gase possibly being uh, the worst coach, you know, in NFL history. Um, and I just kind of was curious on your guys' <laughs> thoughts if, if you think that they're Barnes. messing up thinking, which, you know, feels hard to do. I answer that, yeah. Barnes, we purposely avoided the Jets, and you just fucked us. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. That was a no. fantastic, no, that no, was that a fantastic was a little no, no, bit no, right dude, there. That was. I like that. Barnes, Barnes is a legit, he's a, he's a diehard Jet fan, this dude. This is, my, this is forever for the audience. This is my buddy Barnes from college, ECSU. Go uh, shout back. out Eastern. We go way back. Um, you want to you, you you address the I question? Mean, no, no, address Barnes, the question. Barnes, we know, okay, what did we say uh, when Gase got hired? Barnes and I were actually living together in Stanford with a couple of our buddies. And All Jets Gase fans. Got hired. All Jets no, fans? It's actually me, no, it was a mix. We had Jets and Giants. Oh, right, Jesus. Barnes, Jets and Giants in the, in the house? Yeah, yeah, pretty much, you know, all Jets and Giants. I mean, obviously, the uh, you know the Giants that have had their little runs here and there, but I still think, I mean, they're just as dysfunctional as the Jets. They just got lucky a couple times. And I still whoa, think whoa, 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 really whoa, whoa. Don't oh. even go there, Barnes. Oh, you just, you just <laughs> picked – You no. just picked those big with Giants. Are you, Barnes. Are you – are you kidding me? You know me? what the problem is? You you look at Eli Manning in his career. Was he ever even a top five quarterback? <laughs> he was one of the most yeah, they clutch loved the quarterbacks. Way he looks. No. But was he good or was he lucky? That's that's my thing. I mean, look mm. at his numbers. I, yeah, I mean, yeah, he, he, of, you know what's funny? Dalton, career-wise, probably has better numbers. No, no, it's funny, him. dude. I don't have the numbers in front of me. Eli reminds me of Joe Namath, no. honestly. Like, wow. trash careers. One couple like well, Joe Namath only won one, but no. won a Super Bowl, and now what? He's in the he's in the record book. Okay, that playoff run they did in no seven. You tell me that that was luck. The defense. Give me a break. Well, Except I mean, defense. how did he follow it up the next few years? I mean, he didn't win a playoff game until I know he had the run. You know, when they beat the Patriots again. But other uh -huh. than that, he really just looked mediocre, and I feel like. You know, he Facts. couldn't elevate those offensive skill players around him. He could play good with a good defense, good point. but it's like, could he elevate the guys around him? I don't really know that. I, I think he just got hot. At the well, right well, I don't think he well, really well, ever well, elevated anybody either, Barnes, to be honest. Well, no. he was part of a Who team. He, no, he, he was part of a team. He was part of a team, a Super Bowl winning team. Yeah. When, you, when the Jets hey. win two Super Bowls within five years of each other, that's, that's you guys could thing. talk. That's the other thing. I mean, well, really. I mean – I, I do it's a team yeah, sport. Jets suck. It's a team no, sport. Yeah. no, to answer your question though, I do agree. Gates will go down as the great the worst coach, the greatest worst coach ever. Uh right. he's trash. He he I've been seeing memes of him with that Adam Sandler character that has the crazy eyes. Yeah. <laughs> and they've been just putting <laughs> <laughs> and they've been just Yo, putting from, from Mr. Deeds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, Steve Buscemi. <laughs> He's like, it's like a photo of Gates on the sideline, but it's like Steve yeah. Buscemi's face with Yo, crazy eyes. Barnes was Gates stoned or yeah. not stoned at the press conference? Oh my God, he was fucking ripped. Stephen A. said he looked high. <laughs> I just got a nice tight on you there for that. Uh, so you know, and I, I think moving forward, I mean, it's like too the biggest thing they have to do in the off season, uh, you know, is actually get a professional. Sell the coach. team. I'm kind of torn. You know, do you want somebody who's been a coach, or do you want to take a chance on like Eric the Enemy? Because you want someone that's innovative at the same time. Yeah, we'll I see. I think you would want a guy like the Enemy just to see kind of his offensive mindset as a head coach, right? Because that yeah. that Kansas yeah. City offense is unbelievable. I think you should just you give know, up. I, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, that, I mean, getting the enemy, I think that'll work. Uh, the only thing I was just a little leery on, you know, everyone was all excited about Doug Peterson, you know, because he was an Andy Reid assistant and he looked not that great. I don't know if more of that's on Wentz, but then, you know, the enemy's been part of the Chiefs with Mahomes. So 
you'd have to kind of feel pretty good about that. You know, yes. Yeah. Right. yeah, we appreciate the call, buddy. <laughs> he, we'll, hold on, hold on. He right. sounds like a professional <laughs> no, Jets he radio Mark, Mark, caller. Mark, no, Mark, like, Mark, he Mark, 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 let me tell you right now. He's, had, Bar- he's had many years Bar- of, Barnes, uh, of... Barnes has been done doing this, bro. Barnes used to do a little podcast oh, back oh. when we were in college. So Barnes, Barnes did some filming. He did some of this for uh, Eastern. All right, well, Barnes, we're going to definitely get you in here. Thanks for calling Barnes, we'll see you Friday, bro. Barnes will be here live on Friday. Barnes will be here live. In the building. Bing, 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 bing. Hey, don't wear right, a green. Bars, we'll talk don't, to you, don't bro. wear a green uh, Jets hoodie because you'll you'll blend in with the green screen behind and you'll lose your body. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, Maybe no. you'll just be a talking head. Appreciate the call. I actually hung up on him. Um, <laughs> that's what they do. Ed. No, yeah, you have, it has you to got be done. Hey, I mean, hey, we got to keep it moving. We have yeah. another yeah. caller. Right call. Yes, got homework. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What's going on? Welcome to the sports port. Oh, fudge me. You got to figure that out. <laughs> Welcome to the sports port. <laughs> <laughs> what up, sir? Turn down your radio. What's up? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What up, Kaz? What's good? What's good? Guys, for you guys who, who don't know, who, who this, we have is, this is Ryan Cosner, my uh, buddy up, from Ryan? school. He's a big-time sports fan. He just wanted to call in and uh, talk some NFL with us. Let's hear it. What's yeah, up, dude? Let's talk some football. Let's talk some football. Let's do it. What do you got for us? What you, uh, you take away from yesterday, bro? Just in general. Dude. Um, to be honest, just looking at some of these games, like obviously I think a lot of people were excited to watch the Titans game, which I don't think a lot of people were going to say like in years past, I don't think that would ever be, you know, a sentence that someone would say, but being the only undefeated teams left really, um, that was a game to watch. Uh, it's weird. Big Ben having three interceptions and still coming out with a W is kind of, uh, an interesting thing, um, but those are – I don't know. They can't go wrong with uh, wide receivers in Pittsburgh for some reason. So Dude, always, they, they always to, have a solid wide receiving core. Or is yeah, it, or is it Ben? just find a random guy that just uh, oh. really finds his way. So um, that, that was cool to watch for sure. What did you guys think about it? I, I thought it was pretty interesting in the sense of Goskowski just completely botching a fucking field goal to tie the game for us overtime. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's that's something being an undefeated team, you don't want to see your kicker miss a kick like that. But there were some but they, there were some tough penalty calls on that final drive for them too that brought them back. Yeah. Yeah. They had that intentional grounding that I think could have uh, changed kind of the momentum of that, that last drive there yeah. too. But yep. Kaz, I got a I got a question for you. Okay. Being, being a Giants fan, I know I know he's no longer on the team anymore. <laughs> oof, but oof. but um, what is what is your thought process about the OBJ torn ACL news we got this morning? I think it was just uh, really just a culmination of just a, a doom and gloom year for for OBJ. I mean, the, the and just he, he couldn't seem like he could get anything going on the field this year. I think his like most reception he had in the game was like five. He had like five catches. Um, and two touchdowns or something like that. And that was against Dallas's really bad defense. So it's not really saying much. The worst defense. So I just, terrible. I just, think, I just think he couldn't, like, get anything going this year. I don't know. Everything seemed to be going against him. So, I mean, it's unfortunate, of course. But I, it just seemed like this is where he was kind of uh, – Where he was headed. Kind of moving in that direction. It was just that negative connotation all year for him. So super unfortunate news, especially for them. But – I don't know what their plan is moving forward. I heard, you know, there was rumors and people talking that maybe they were trying to trade him. So who knows what's going to happen when he comes back from that. But that's, that's another six to nine months discussion now for him. So Yeah, I mean, I we were talking earlier about how this could potentially, you know, be detrimental to his career. What is your kind of thought process on that? Just the last question before we kind of wrap things up. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, no, yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, ACL coming from me especially i've had a couple acl injuries and it's just i mean i'm not a top level athlete like obj obviously but um something about that you don't really just come back the same after an injury like that so be curious to see i mean these guys have the best medical attention and and doctors so um anything's possible really um but hopefully he comes back and has the same you know jump to step and same speed but if not i know he's a speed guy because not the biggest receiver He, he he relies on his route running and his his speed to really um, take over the game. So if that's gone, then um, I don't know how, how well he's really going to be in the league. So, But I'm hoping the best, obviously, as a former Giant. Um, yeah. But, hey, we'll, we'll see going down uh, going forward. We'll see when it comes back. So hopefully a speedy recovery for him. Yeah, yeah I mean, awesome. ACL is always tough. I, I know you've had your fair share of uh, ACL experiences. But, um, yes, sir. Kaz, yes, sir. always a pleasure talking to you, brother. We'll have you on soon, and hopefully we oh, want to wow. get you into the studio as well and yeah. kind of – 
get put, 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 yeah. a, put a nice sure. little face to the voice that yeah, they're yeah, hearing we today. Definitely got to get you in here, buddy. Hey, absolutely. I appreciate it, guys. Have a good one. All right. You too. You too, you too Thanks, man. bro. Take. All right. All right, guys. Hey, first two callers onto the sports port. I think it went pretty well. We had some great conversations. We're going to shift gears real quick before we wrap things up with episode seven. NBA. What are are the recent news, JPL? Take it away. (laughs) The NBA guy. Uh, The aficionado. I believe that this new start date is going to be December 22nd, and I'm very excited about that. I thought it was going to start in January, and I was kind of bummed. And uh, Christmas comes three days early this year. We get a nice little present. We get basketball again, which is, I'm sure everybody's kind of excited to see see what this new new season. season. Yeah. New season. We're seeing kind of sports wrap up a little bit here, so kind of getting another 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 league, win. another yeah, top yeah, yeah. another back. top league we'll be back uh power league taking off yeah. we're going to have sports all know. the time again but guys i think that's that concludes it for episode 7 for now. we will be back on friday thank you guys for tuning in make sure you guys subscribe comment like whatever it is that you guys have to do and we will see you guys on friday peace, peace. it's been a while since i had your attention in my heart to hit it